At Fort Mishlamakanak by Lake Superior, the Ojibwe chief Minavavana issues a warning to a group of English traders. Englishmen, although you have conquered the French, you have not yet conquered us. We are not your slaves. These lakes, these woods and mountains were left us by our ancestors. Englishmen, your king has not sent us any presents, nor entered into any treaty with us. Therefore, he and we are still at war. The war fever builds. Since the conquest, the English have gone far beyond the Ohio Valley and into the Great Lakes area, occupying all the French forts, pouring ever deeper into the interior. Pontiac is a war chief of the Ottawa nation. He calls for total annihilation of the English. It is important for us, my brothers, that we exterminate from our lands this nation which seeks only to destroy us. You see as well as I that we can no longer supply our needs as we have done from our brothers, the French. The English sell us goods twice as dear as the French do. When I ask the English commander anything for our sick, he refuses with the reply that he has no use for us. You can see as well as I that they are seeking our ruin. All the British frontier forts are surrounded. Michelamakinac, Wiatnon, Pitt, St. Joseph, Edward Augustus, Niagara, and the biggest of all, Detroit. For five weeks, Pontiac's war bands massacre settlers and hold the interior in terror. these people are dying, history is taking a fateful turn. The British government is looking for lasting peace on the frontier. It decides to recognize the North American interior as Indian land. Britain issues a royal proclamation. Indian land will be protected by the king. There will be no encroachment by American settlers and speculators. We do hereby strictly forbid, on pain of our displeasure, all our loving subjects from making any purchases or settlements whatever, or taking any possession of any of the lands above reserved without our especial leave and license. The proclamation will stir the American colonies to political fury, and its legacy will shape the continent for centuries to come.